Henry is a new movie directed by Will Forbes and this film stars Terry Crews as John Henry and Chris Bridges Ludacris as the Golden Chin. And this movie right here is a modernized version of the folklore story of John Henry where he goes up against a machine in a race on the railroad tracks and John Henry wins the race but he dies from excessive fatigue. In this movie John Henry is all about a man with a troubled past and he must go back to his violent roots when he comes across a woman who escaped sex traffickers. He protects this woman because she is under siege by the man we know as the Golden Chin. And this leads into the confrontation between the Golden Chin and John Henry. And we have our movie, John Henry. Without further ado, there, there's so many things to talk about this movie that I had to go in the pros. There are not much pros in this movie other than there is like a good aesthetic, I would say. And like in the five minute mark, there is like a music video. It has some decent cuts, decent zoom ins, nice visuals. It was well shot, nice colors from a music video standpoint, that is. And I'm going to have to go into the cons. Other videos I mentioned, I stress to you guys that I don't like yelling or hooting or hollering in videos such as rants or reviews. There are times where a movie is so bad that I have to give out some emotion just to let it all be free. Because, you know, there is no reason why you should have stress on the inside. You should really let that be free. This film right here was an abomination by nature that this the, from from the top to bottom is so much to go down the line. This is from Terry Crews, the bad performance from uh, Chris Bridges as uh, the the Golden Chin. This movie was structurally horribly done all the way from the screenplay, from the script. It doesn't have no sense of logic. Let's start off with Terry Crews' bad performance, like he just basically showing the same facial expression in every single scene, and he's in not much. Diversity with his facial expressions, you know, at least say you got burgers, at least say you got fries, you got shakes that will cause earthquakes, and you don't really follow this character, or don't really feel for this character on an emotional level. Like in the beginning part of the movie, it has a John Wick vibe. His dog died, his dog got ran over by some gangsters, and then you think that would be like the drive of the movie, because if it really was the drive of the movie, we'd be going to John Wick territory. The film has its clever way of developing John Henry's backstory by giving you a flashback scene, but the film doesn't give you a, a time frame of when the flashback scene is happening. It's like it just goes to a scene and then transitions to a different scene of, of some random characters that you haven't seen before and you're like, what am I watching here? Who are all these guys? Why am I watching a camera feel of some big guy stumping some guy? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, oh, oh, that's John Henry because some character from off screen mentioned his name. Thank you, movie. I'm really appreciative. And the film focuses on this woman who is basically escaped from sex traffickers, but there is going to be some character development revolving around her, right? Okay, there is some character development revolving around this Hispanic woman, but yet there is a disconnect with the audience because she speaks full Spanish. She doesn't speak English at all. And also, there are some scenes in this movie where she's interacting with other Hispanic characters in this movie and she's like, hola, como estas? There will be some subtitles, right? No, there are no subtitles whatsoever, so yet the film believes that the audience is smart enough to speak Espanol que do I comprehend? No. So when there are some stressful moments in this movie revolving around this Hispanic woman, I could at least feel for her character, but since you don't give me subtitles and I understand the shit what she's saying, I don't give a shit well, what happens to her. The way this film was put together, this film, the way this film was structured, the film was had poor editing choices. And the way this film had music, this scene, the music makes the scenes feel off balance. I had to talk about the, Chris Bridges. He did not want to be there. He was just there for a paycheck. He didn't want to put much emphasis on this role. It shows. He's just sitting down on every other scene in a room with neon colors. And it has chopped and screwed music. I sit back and read like head in the head. 21 Savage, the cat with the mat. 21 Savage, not boys in the hood. But I pull up on you, shoot your ass in the back. Stew a little, hurt you niggas some racks. Pocket full of cheese, bitch, I got racks. I'm a real street nigga. A bitch, I am not one of these niggas banging on wood. His 
dialogue, the script that is horrid. In his line delivery, like the afflictions in his voice, it just seems like he's just reading it off this paper. Just You just get a disconnect with all of everything you're watching on screen. The film reveals why he has a golden chin, all right? It is... <laughs> to bash you in the head with some so, with some problems with social commentary with black on black violence the execution of that just doesn't pay off whatsoever and it lost all sense of logic there is a character who i'll say is the uncle of john henry he suffered a stroke and he's been paralyzed from the waist down but then there was a gun scene there's a gun battle scene but all of a sudden he can walk again he could magically walk okay he got up on his two legs Pulled out a gun and start shooting motherfuckers. And Henry walked up to him and was like, You suffer, you suffer a stroke. How are you able to walk? Oh, drilling, son. Just drilling. I lost brain cells watching this movie. It's like I want to go back in time and just tell myself, like, Ugh. Ugh, like, bro, do not watch John Henry, man. John Henry is a disgraceful film. You should never talk about this movie, man, because you just ruined the time continuum. Oh. That is... A sacrifice I am willing to make. Yes, I'm going to have to give John Henry that ass. 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 If you want to practice social distancing, I recommend you practice social distancing this from this film. And I'll see you guys in the next review. And if you like everything you see and you agree, subscribe to my channel and join me and the Batman family. I'll have more Batman-tastic reviews in the way you have been warned. Till then, ciao. Oh,